Alright, what's up y'all? It's Vaughn again, Ed Mead. You know what it is. Listen, speaking with my mentor on the prayer line the other day, one of the things that he admonished us, and I just want to uh, impart the same knowledge unto you, is not to just be competent, or not just to seek how to be competent, not just to seek how to do the, you know, do the particular actions that you see people who are having success um, do, uh, not just to, to, to mimic the process that they're going through in, in terms of their, the steps that they're taking actively. But one, one thing that he said is, we need to pray to have the right spirit. You know, the, 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 the spirit of success, so to speak. So, or the, the, the attitude, right? So, somebody who's often successful in a particular thing, um, it's more than the fact that they just do these actions all the time. But usually, there's something in them. There's a certain spirit that they have that allows them to do that action, right? Or, or, or that allows it to come naturally. And when I say come naturally, I don't mean that they didn't work for it or what have you. But they're, they have a disposition that wants to go out there and practice as much as they practice or what have you, right? So one of the examples that he used was David and Jonathan. And David and Jonathan, if you ever read the Bible, David and Jonathan were two friends, but they were so close that they were brothers. And so sometimes people might read that and, and say to themselves, well, I want to, I want to link myself up with somebody. I want to find somebody that I can be that close to. Or, or So they might do things to try to find somebody that they can connect with like that. But what you need to do is pray for the right spirit that would allow that to happen. So some people, they see entrepreneurs or they see some of their favorite basketball players, a Kobe Bryant or LeBron James or Steph Curry really right now out there doing their thing on the court and they're just going out and they're just practicing dribbling or they're just practicing shooting. But what they're not doing is figuring out, well, what is the spirit that, like, what's the spirit? Like, what's, what's going on in their mental? What's going, what's in their heart that drives them um, to, to, to go in as hard as they do, right? And especially for those you know, who, who are in the, within a Christian context, right? Everybody watching this video may not be, but for those who are, then one of the things that you believe is that you can't even do anything except through the Spirit, right? So whether you're religious or not, you know, what I want you to do is begin figuring out what is the Spirit that allows these people to have good success, right? So now I'm not just talking about just have any old type of success. I'm not talking about having success if it's going to be detrimental to other people's um, ability to live, if it's going to be unfair to society or if it's going to take advantage of people. But what I am talking about is, you know, if, if, if you see that there's somebody has a good spirit, right, and, and they're having success and their success is not, their success is a positive success, then what you need to do is figure out, well, what is the spirit and how can I have that same spirit within? Um, you know, it, 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 is it something that they're watching? Is it something that they're reading? Um, what's their prayer life like? You know, what is, what's their belief system? Figure out what's the spirit and pray for that same spirit, right? And then I believe that that'll be the foundation that now begins to drive you into the right direction. But sometimes you, do, you, you feel like you're spinning your wheels because you're taking action and it's not necessarily the wrong action but you don't have the right spirit. And without the right spirit, sometimes you don't have that driving force behind you that says, listen, like I feel compelled to do this thing. Why? Because the spirit that's in me compels me to do this way or the spirit that's in me uh, compels me to live this way or the spirit that in, that's in me tells me to practice this much. The spirit that's in me tells me to write this much. The spirit that's in me tells me to show up on time and be consistent, right? The spirit that's in me tells me to take this many shots per day. So pray for the spirit Right. And when I believe when you pray for the spirit, that'll be the foundation. And then as you learn the actions that you need to take, then you'll have you'll be well rounded and you'll be on your way. So listen, um, we want to talk about some other things. But yeah, stay tuned daily. I hope that this is helping you. I'm just going to try to give you as much information as I can, hopefully on a daily basis. Uh, but if not daily, at least as consistently as possible. All right. Peace.